So tonight, it's about our scholars, and it wouldn't be appropriate if I didn't introduce you to one of our scholars who has an incredible story to tell us. So, Einer, I would like to introduce you and bring you up here to tell the story, which I read yesterday. I was crying like crazy, but I'll not do that tonight. So, <laughs> Einar, thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so delighted to see all of you tonight in this beautiful castle. <laughs> Every time I'm here, I feel like I'm in fairy tale. Something, something magical in this building, isn't it there? Yeah. Do you feel? <laughs> um, my name is Aynur Karabekova. I am from Kyrgyzstan, um, the small country. Um, I call my uh, sweet homeland, but the place where I was uh, personally unhappy. Tumultuous political shakeups and uh, economic um, problems pushed many families in Kyrgyzstan into poverty and uh, silent existence. Careers of many people were destroyed condemning them to permanent unemployment and uh, very often into depression and dependence on alcohol. This happened to my family too, to the father of my children. All my attempts to help him were unsuccessful, unfortunately. And uh, <clears throat> at one point, I decided that um, I must think about my our children and um, uh, must think about the future of our children. And <clears throat> nobody expected that I um, could win um, a lottery green card and uh, move to America. Uh, but my family supported me and um, my relatives supported me and uh, So uh, thus, on one uh, beautiful spring day of 2008, uh, my three children and I uh, landed at Logan Airport. And thus, our new challenges in America had begun. <laughs> <laughs> but I was ready to do whatever it would take to make our new home a sweet is the one we left behind, and even more happier. So our two first years being here flew like one day. I was busy working uh, two jobs um, at a retail company and a cleaning company. And then one day, the idea to return to school came to, to my mind. Um, I decided to return to go back to school. So the only obstacle that could prevent me going to school uh, was, of course, financial uh, problem. And um, of course, I looked for scholarships. And um, I found first literacy scholarship. It was my first scholarship that helped me launch my educational um, plans. And uh, I started uh, my school at Bunker Hill Community College two years ago with the help of first literacy. And um, successfully finishing it, uh, this semester and uh, would like to continue to go further with my education because um, uh, as a, a responsible parent I have to think about my family, about my children and education this is, uh, this is only um, first um, 
tool uh, to make it. And uh, um, when I first learned that I was one of ten uh, first-time scholarship winners, my excitement was endless. Mm -hmm. Then a year la later, when I received my second scholarship from First Literacy as a continuum scholar, I was left speechless. Um, today, I sincerely thank you, First Literacy, for supporting adults like me in our efforts to improve our lives and uh, our children's future through education. These scholarships offered me impulse and inspiration to do things as best as I can, empowered for a new future. I would also like to note that First Literacy stays connected with and provides even more support for scholars. Through the First Literacy Mentoring Program, I and other scholars of First Literacy have found new friends experiencing same same difficulties in new country. We help each other uh, with the challenges of uh, going to school while we uh, uh, keeping up meeting our family and work responsibilities. Uh, and I would say it's wonderful to attend the events like this, which demonstrate such a great sense of community. Tonight being here with you shows me that the world is rich with people who exhibit the moral responsibility to help others, others who want to succeed but need support. I sincerely thank you, all of you, for your generosity. So, as I said, I will be soon graduating from Bunker Hill and creating new goals to achieve. Um, and I believe that nothing impossible to a willing spirit and opportunity exists if you reach for your, if you just keep reaching for your dreams. And uh, I look forward to a bright future for my children in this country, where rights such life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness are not only declared, but also supported. Thank you very much.